You're listening to Hashtag Gospel. This is Hashtag Gospel. It's Hashtag Gospel with Steph and Morgs on WEAJ 88.7 FM. Keep your ear right here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Super Steph is a bird's a plane. It's me holding it down right here live at Gospel 88.7 FM's Revive AC, praised by the waves in Atlantic City at the Surf Stadium. And I am happy to be here, sitting here with one of the headliners, the one and the only Mr. James Hall. My first time interviewing him. James Hall's in the building. What's good, man? I'm excited to interview you, sir. Really? Because I studied you. Wow. I am a choir director, and I studied you, and I I still study you, sir. (laughs) So to talk to one of the choir masters. That's what's up, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. (laughs) What can we expect from you tonight, Mr. Hall? Well, I ain't nothing new under the sun. You know, we ah. James Hall worship and praise. We're going to do what we do. We're going to worship and we're going to praise God through song. Yes. We're going to do some classics. We might try to throw in one of our new, to- our new tunes uh-huh. in there just to give you a taste of what's to come from uh-huh. James Hall and worship and praise. You have a very distinctive style, sir. A very distinctive style that has influenced those from Ty Tribbett on to whoever. How did you come up with that style, sir? Man, it's really hard to say. No, you know, actually, it's not really hard to say. I started Worship and Praise is now 28 years old. My God. Can y'all believe that? My God. I don't even look like I'm 28. Oh and my, my choir is 28 years old. And when we started, I asked God to give us something unique. Um, now, my roots stem from my father was a jazz musician. Uh-huh. And my mom played uh she read the hymn books mm, mm. So in my beginning Of learning I had classical training mm. So you got the jazz From my father The classical training mm. When I got of age I really wanted my choir to have such a rich sound I, I really grabbed hold to the Thomas Whitfield company mm. And even though we don't sound like them yeah, yeah, All yeah. of them had like some kind of Strong impact on my sound yeah. my, I grew up in a church, a musical church The Institutional Church of God in Christ Where they call us the hit makers yeah, yeah. And Professor Butch Haywood And J- John White I mean that sound Just is all in me And I think all those things together has created The James Hall sound mm, How do you feel about the choir scene now In gospel music? Well it's not a really big choir scene It's not that it's not a big choir scene It's not a really a big choir scene in the industry mm-hmm. Forefront you know, they kind of narrowed it down. Like, it's like Ricky Dillard and mm-hmm. his worship and praise. Mm-hmm. And then it's Donald Lawrence and his youthful praise. Mm-hmm. So it's not really many choirs in the forefront anymore like how it used to be back in the day. Mm-hmm. But it ain't that choirs ain't singing because when they have those choir fests, you'd be like, oh, my God, where are these choirs coming from? Right. They'd be rolling up with 30 and 60 people. Right. So right. it's not that choirs is, you know, not popping because you ain't doing nothing until you got a good choir on a Sunday morning mm-hmm. before the preacher get up, set mm-hmm. the church on fire. Exactly, exactly. And I try to tell people, you know, y'all trying to change something that that don't need to be changed. Mm-hmm. I love the praise and worship because we've been doing praise and worship all our lives. This ain't nothing new. Yes. You know, y'all y'all making it something different, but it ain't nothing new. We've been doing. It, it made it a little we, different. It made yeah, it a little different. Yeah, the songs are a little different. You know, you got to know verses and stuff like that because you know, coming up, we <laughs> ain't we, we, we would sing two lines and go in. The deliverance is in the chorus. Come on, the here. The blessing is in the chorus. I cried, he delivered me. I cried, I cried. That was all we needed, and mm-hmm. we would go in and be yes. ready for church. Just my but now, mm-hmm. now we got verses and mm-hmm. you know all that stuff. Wow. And now, sometimes the praise team has become the choir. This is true. But ain't nothing. If you look, if you go to a movie, I always tell people you go to a movie and they have a church scene. It's always the same. Mm. They have a choir and a choir stand with the robes, uh-huh. and then you know they sing, mm-hmm. and then the preacher get up. That's it. That's how the world sees the church. That's and it. that's how we grew up as a church. Now that's we want to change and be something else, but that's what it is. That's it. So you got some new music coming up. Yes, sir. So what what can we expect from this new music coming up? Since you're talking so much about you know that it's still. It's still it's, important. It's still the important, choir, man. You know, worship and praise. The new CD is called James Hall WAP New Era. That's worship and praise is the WAP. I want people WAP. to understand what WAP stands for because people's <laughs> like, who's WAP? <laughs> worship and praise. Yes, sir. So it's WAP New Era, and it's really just a new 
season for Worship and Praise. Uh -huh. Y'all know we had a great, great, great loss last year. We lost Melvin Crispell, yes, who yes, has yes. been my partner from the beginning. Yes. And this is like the first project that he is not working wow. on me with. So wow. it's really a new season um, for us. And we, of course, we're dedicating this album to Melvin Crispell. And we're doing uh, a tribute to him. And the tribute is the first song that he ever written. We never recorded it. Mm -hmm. So we're doing that on this project. But we have some, I mean, we have all the things you look when you, those true fans of Worship and Praise, I don't like to say fans, mm -hmm. true supporters of Worship and Praise. Y'all yes. look for that classical song mm -hmm. with all that. Y'all look for a fast song. We got that. Mm -hmm. Y'all look for a, a touching uh, ballad. We got that. We got some jazzy tunes on there we got something a little different we always try to do something a little different and a little to the edge mm -hmm. so i mean the vocals are, are amazing i have a new um co-producer that's working with me a lot of you should know him troy chambers mm -hmm. he is dynamic he's like from out of these parts and i mean i got some of the baddest musicians mm -hmm. that are of course on the you do. Face of the earth. Of course you do. Who wouldn't want to play for Worship and Praise? Man, I'm telling you. So it's, it's really a great project. And most importantly, there's stuff on there you can sing on Sunday morning. Yes. We need that back. Yes. Yeah. Because you know, a lot of stuff you can't, you know, that they're playing on the radio, they you can't even sing it on Sunday morning. Try it. Try you gotta, it. You, gotta, you, gotta, you got to have your track. <laughs> you got to have a track. Yes, sir. But we got some stuff with just organ and drums you could you can use on Sunday morning. Yes, sir. Well, we are sitting here. If you're just tuning in, we got James Hall in the building. One of the headliners yeah, yeah. of Revive AC. Praise by the Ways right here in Atlantic City. Super Steps of the Birds are playing this. Man, I'm about to let you go. I know you got to get to that stage. But I got one more question for you. Being a choir director myself in my church, what is like the the most important thing that a, a choir director should know? I need to get it from the choir master. Well, that's such a big question, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it small. The main thing you should know is about music, because now this is about to be. I could take this a whole uh -oh. another way. Talk to me. But there's a lot of choir directors that they don't know anything about music. They don't even know the keys on the piano. They don't know how to teach song. Because right, I'm gonna just jump back a few years ago when I grew up. The ministers of music did everything. Right. We taught the songs. We picked out the uniforms. Right. You know, we directed. Now everything is broken up. You got a choir director. Right. Then you got the minister of music, the right. organist. Then you got somebody to teach the parts. Mm. But it's really, it really works when you, as a choir director, no music, no, music. no parts. So if you're directing and somebody's singing the wrong part, you know where it's coming from. Yes. I, what's the sense you up there and they singing it wrong? You, you see just, directors you just, that don't know parts. Oh, I I, I can name a few. Blasphemous. <laughs> <laughs> I can name a few. <laughs> you gotta I, go. Oh, I, <laughs> yeah, I got. I gotta get. I gotta <laughs> get out here. I'm gonna leave that alone. But yeah, you know, know know what you're doing. Know your craft. Don't just you know. And that's just not with directing. That's with playing an instrument. Mm -hmm. Know your craft. Yes, sir. Practice. Yes, sir. Learn more about what you do. Yes, sir. And so you could give God excellence. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for that. Thank Super you, man. Birds are playing. It's me, James Hall, in the building. W E H A. We're gonna get into this music. A classic from James Hall and Worship and Praise. God is in control. Part yeah, two. Yeah. We're gonna do that, and we'll be back. We've come to tell you, God is in control. We live in God's imagination, and Stephen Pfeiffer is my name and occupation. Hello, and this is Stephen Pfeiffer in the house. Welcome to the Stephen Show. Still got it. 